Thank you. Well, travel has been ramping up as people arrive at their Easter and spring break destinations. Last week, TSA screening the highest number of travelers this year. Meanwhile, millions more are hitting the roads, and those drivers are finding gas prices higher than they were a month ago. I know we're seeing that here at home. ABC's Chuck Syverson has more. Airports across the country have been filled with large crowds as travelers hit the sky to reach their Easter or spring break destinations. On Thursday, TSA says it screened 2.7 million passengers, the most so far this year and the largest number since the winter holiday season last year. In addition to large crowds, there have been some other issues affecting airline passengers. On Friday, a United flight from Tel Aviv to Newark was forced to make an emergency landing in Orange County, New York, due to severe turbulence. And they said the flight was pretty rough coming in uh, to Newark, but uh, we had multiple ambulances here from New Windsor and multiple surrounding agencies. In a statement, United saying one passenger deplaned due to a medical incident and a few other customers were seen by medical personnel for possible motion sickness. The high travel volume is expected to continue as thousands travel to cities in the path of the upcoming total eclipse of the sun. The FAA says the busiest day next week will be Thursday, April 4th, with more than 50,000 flights set to take off. So you can expect some limited parking, even delays at airports, right along the eclipse path from Texas to Maine. For those choosing to drive to their destinations, they're going to find higher prices at the pump. According to the AAA, the national average for a gallon of gas is now 3.53, about 24 cents more than just one month ago, and about 10 cents higher than last year. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York. According to AAA, more Easter travelers are hopping on cruise ships and heading to beaches to celebrate the spring. Well, that sounds nice. Travel data shows a 28% increase in cruise bookings for March and April compared to last year.